Welcome to the Serious Shift Blogcast. We have only one question. What does Serious Shift mean to you? To answer that and much more, here's your host, Dennis Mosley-Williams. Hey everyone, I'm Dennis. Welcome back to the Serious Shift Blogcast. It's episode number 113. Delighted to have your attention and a special hello and welcome to everybody who signed up over the weekend. Very gratifying to have you this morning. I hope you're well and the world is being kind. Here's my question. My question for today is, do you know what the word penultimate means? Penultimate refers to the second last step of something. Okay? So I want to catch up to speed. I want to bring you right into the moment of my consciousness. Today I will endeavor to make this a short and sweet blog post for you. You ready? Here it is. I'm having a tough time. I'm having a tough time these last few days. I'm having a tough time remaining positive. I'm having a tough time um, wanting to continue to push this rock along, not knowing necessarily that it's going to work out the way it does. Okay? That's just a fact. And, I, and I'm a human, so I'm, it's okay for me to feel that way. It's okay if you sometimes feel that way. These are, these are strange times, right? And every once in a while I post these blogs as much for me as I do for you. I posted a little thought the other day on Twitter where I said, if I just figured it out, we're a startup again. (laughs) So that'll take you to this morning. I went for a walk with a couple of my dear friends. Social distance, dog walking, everybody. Keep your distance and keep safe. Wash your hands a lot. Let's uh, let's fight this thing together. So me and two of my dear friends that that I share my secrets with, one of whom has known me since I was, you know, 15 years old, And the other fella, he's no slouch. He's known me for over 20 years. They're dear friends. So we went for a walk and I told them this morning, I said, boys, I'm having a tough time. I just confessed it. Sometimes you just want to get it out. You just want to, you just need to get it out. You're not always looking for an answer or a solution. Sometimes you're just looking to be heard. And that's what I was looking for this morning. But nevertheless, it became a cool conversation about success And how at the end of the day, my friend Anik said, he goes, you know what, buddy? At the end of the day, life comes down to habits. It always does. And then he said something about, and trying again, starting again. And and, and this became a conversation. We agreed that, yes, these are two incredibly important um, characteristics of a successful, not just person, but a successful entrepreneur, right? It's, It's the ability to... Cultivate excellent habits, identify bad habits and, and, and get yourself away from them and dusting off, you know, after failure and trying again. And sometimes failure isn't a punch in the face. Sometimes failure is just nothing. It's no effect. <laughs> nothing happened. Nothing good. Nothing bad. Nothing. You're just, that's called progress. And that, so the whole way home from the dog walk, I thought of something. And, and it's like, thank God for those two boys or today could be ruined. For me and for you. So this is what I thought about. I thought about how success is rarely the big splash, okay, which is conversely the working title of my new book, right? It's the the, the big splash and what an illusion it is. It's rarely is anything the big splash. Generally speaking, before you knew about it and the big splash is made, there's always a little collection of people that know about it. So rarely is it a big splash. Usually success is about successive drips, drip, 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 relentless drips that just keep showing up almost imperceptible. Now stick with me. The first drip is really exciting. Everybody's on board. You're on board. The team's on board. They're excited. The VP comes down. There's clapping, perhaps ribbon cutting. Pictures are taken. You know, it's a commemorated moment. The first drip. It's very exciting. But the last drip is the loneliest drip. Okay, most of the time, everybody who is there for the first trip, and in some time cases, including you, you've long left the ceremony. You have gone out to celebrate other first trips on other projects, etc. The penultimate drip, that'd be the second last one, it can even get criticized. Are you guys still working on that project? Are you still pushing that along? Are you still waiting for that to take off? Are you this? Are you that? But then the last drip hits. And it proves, once again, 
as it always does, that you've been working on the right thing this whole time. Okay? Doing it right, making it right, and keeping it right is a process. It's not an event. It's not a big splash. It rarely, if ever, is. What it is, is persistence. Not about doing the same things every day, but keeping the same goal and adjusting your tactics one drip at a time, handling the loneliness, and being ready to welcome everybody back in to celebrate with you. Don't lose hope. Continue to measure, adjust, and drip, okay? You won't know when you're at the penultimate drip, by the way. You'll only know you're getting close, okay? Everybody, thank you very much for this time we have together. It means a lot. Wherever you are in Blogland, I hope you're well. Thank you, as always, for your attention. Take care. We hope you enjoyed the Serious Shift Blogcast. We would love any suggestions, feedback on topics, ideas, or challenges that may have you feeling stuck. Also, please leave a five-star review wherever you are enjoying this content. It helps Dennis out tremendously. On behalf of Dennis and the team, see you next episode.